guys, it's Jessie here. I'm back with another video, and today's video is going to be my February favorites. I don't have a lot of beauty favorites this month because I honestly have not been wearing a ton of makeup this month. I've been very um, laid back, low key, pretty much if I've been wearing makeup. Um, it's been like four basic things. I'm gonna go ahead and share all four of them with you because why not? Um, Mainly it has been concealer, and the concealer I've been using is the Revlon Age Divine Concealer. I think this is probably discontinued because I found this at Big Lots. It's not my favorite concealer ever, but it's the one that I've been using. I'm trying to use up a lot of my stuff. Works okay. This The tone match is pretty nice. It's just kind of difficult to blend. But, um, you know, I just slap this on under my eyes, conceal any blemishes, and that's pretty much been it. Um as well as mascara. This is the mascara I've been using lately. This is the Super Sizer from CoverGirl. Uh, Emily Noel 83 talked about this as like her favorite mascara of the year or something like that. So of course I had to try it out. I like it okay. I don't know if it's as good as she said it was, um, at least not to me, but it does the job. It's got a really, really skinny wand which is sort of difficult to use, honestly. I keep getting uh, mascara on my contact lenses when I put this on, so it's like, you gotta be careful if you're like me, I guess, but works okay. Then I've been filling in my brows. I've been leaving, I can't even talk today. I've been using the Don't Leave Your Brows at Home from Julep. I hate the names that Julep gives their products, but I love their products. This is a really nice product. This is in the shade Cool Brown, it's a little bit light, but it does the job. It's really cool. It's got the brush on one end, and then it's got the product in the other end. So you can just use the brush to apply it and then put it all back together. You have everything you need in one handy little tool. And uh, I like it a lot. It's super easy, super quick. Uh, and then the only other thing I've been wearing is lip balm, and this is the one that I've pretty much been wearing on a daily basis. This is the Maybelline Baby Lips in Grapevine. It's my favorite of the baby lips. I've had multiples of these um, and I just like the color. I like the smell. So yeah, that's pretty much it for beauty. I actually um, have a lot more like lifestyle mom type thing. Not really mom, like housewifey things to talk to you guys about. So um, cleaning products. I've been playing around and trying some new cleaning products lately. I'm a member of a Facebook group that's like um, all about cleaning and products and things because that's just the kind of girl I am. Uh, sorry about the, um, the laundry noise, but it's a good segue because one of the things that I've been using has to do with the laundry. These are the Purex Crystals In Wash Fragrance Booster. Um, this particular one is in the Aromatherapy Energy. I really like these. My laundry is always clean, but it was missing that like clean laundry smell. I wasn't using a uh, fabric softener up until recently. I just started using it again because I just missed the smell. But you know, they say that that sort of thing builds up in your machine and it builds up on your clothes. So it's not good for you, but I've been using it cause I like it. But before I went back to using fabric softener, I was really excited about these because this gives you that fresh clean scent. I don't know how good these are for the machine. You can use them in high efficiency um, washing machines, which is what I have. And uh, it just makes your clothes smell really good. So if you haven't tried these, I recommend them. They're like, I don't know, three or four bucks. So they're not the cheapest thing ever, but I actually really like the Purex brand. I use Purex laundry detergent. I use Purex uh, fabric softener, dryer sheets, everything. So, um, yeah, try out Purex if you haven't. I know that, like, Tide is the be-all, end-all, but I actually don't like the way Tide smells, so Purex it is, plus it's super cheap, but. Moving on, another cleaning product that I've discovered, uh, probably in the past six months, but I've been using more and more and liking more and more, is this Clean Path brand. So this is a cool concept because you buy this and the bottle is actually empty. It's just got the little pod on the bottom and this is like concentrated cleaner. You add water, you fill the, you know, you flip it upside down and squeeze this and the pod goes in there. I'm so articulate, I know, but um, this is really cool because then you can just buy the replacement pods when you've used up all of your product. So I like that, um, you know, it's not, it's just a cool concept. It's 
a little bit better for the environment, I guess. I don't know. But this particular one is the antibacterial bathroom cleaner. I also have the glass cleaner and the like multi-surface cleaner, and I like them all. The bathroom cleaner is probably my favorite. I love the way this smells, and it works really well. Um, I guess you could probably use a little bit more of the concentrated stuff if you want it like super strong or you can dilute it more if you don't want a super strong chemical or whatever but I don't know I just really like it so I'm gonna put this down now <laughs> um, I think that's it for the cleaning products moving on to some more kind of I don't know like random things I have really been pushing myself to drink more water okay you guys know this if you've been watching my Slim Down Sunday videos, I'm trying to lose weight, be healthier. My water intake was something that was really important for me to like focus on. So to kind of help motivate me to drink water, I picked up some of these um, flavoring packets. Now the problem that I found with these, not these particular ones, but the packets in general is that a lot of them are made with aspartame. and. I have a sensitivity to aspartame, it gives me headaches, I know a lot of people have that problem, um, so I try to avoid those. These are the ones that I found that I like the best. These are sweetened with stevia for the ones that are, you know, like a drink mix. This True Lime Black Cherry Limeade is really, really, really good. I like this a lot. I use like half a packet per 16 ounces of water. Uh, just because I like it to be a pretty subtle flavor. You could throw the whole packet in there if you wanted. They're like 10 calories a piece. Really, really nice. I find these at Walmart uh, for just a couple of bucks, and they help me with my water intake. I have um, just plain water throughout the day usually, but I will have something with a little bit of flavor like with my meals. So just for something a little different. But that's my favorite right now. I love the black cherry limeade. I also like just the plain old crystallized lime. This is just, you know crystallized lime like it says um, no sugars so you know no added sugars no sweeteners or anything so that's really nice if you just want a bit of lime flavor in your water um, there's the true lemon too if you are more into lemon and I've also tried some of the um, drink mixes with the lemon and those are really good too so if you guys haven't tried out this true lime true lemon thing give it a shot wow I just talked for a really really long time about drink mixes and I don't know what's going on with my hair I just washed it. Whatever. Next up, I have a candle favorite. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know how much I love wax cubes, but I've recently kind of gone back to using candles. My boys are a little bit older now, so I don't worry so much about the open flame, and um, I've fallen in love with this brand. This is the 719 Walnut Avenue brand. These are found at Walmart in like the cleaning aisle section, like where the Glade candles are. Um, I never would have found these if I hadn't just been meandering up and down the aisle looking for cleaning products because of the aforementioned like obsession with new cleaning products lately. Um, but these are really, really nice. You'll notice a resemblance to some Bath and Body Works candles if you're familiar with those. They look just like them. A lot of the scents are very similar to the Bath and Body Works scents and um, they're just really nice. Three Wick candles, they're like five bucks. so a zillion times cheaper than the Bath and Body Works candles. And this particular one, this Honeysuckle Jasmine, is my favorite. I'm going to be burning this all spring. I love Honeysuckle. My husband also really likes Honeysuckle, so that's nice. We um, don't always agree on scents. I tend to like, like fruitier scents, and he tends to like cleaner scents. So sometimes the, the scents that I like are too sweet for him. But we both like this one, so um, I highly recommend you check out this brand of candle. Really, really like them. I've kind of gotten an obsession where every time I go to Walmart to buy a new one, but um, yeah, really, really liking that. Uh, next up, I just have a couple of non-tangible favorites, nothing I can hold up and share with you. Uh, I joined a gym this month. I joined Planet Fitness, and it has been incredibly awesome. I have had such a good time with it. Um, going to the gym every day, focusing on my health, doing something that's just for me has been awesome. I know not everyone really is on board with the Planet Fitness thing, but I really like it. I'm very comfortable there. I can get on the treadmill or the recumbent bike. I can work on all the machines. I go, it's real close to my house, so I'm really, really loving that. Um, just a couple more favorites. I'm looking at my little list here. Uh, TV, I have been 
watching um, Quantum Leap on Netflix. I don't have cable, but I have Netflix, and my husband and I don't really watch movies because we can never agree on movies, but we can often agree on TV, and this month has been all about Quantum Leap. I used to watch the show when I was younger. Still love it. I think it's really great. Um, it's about a guy who's leaping back and forth through time changing people's lives and it's really cool so if you're into that sort of thing definitely check it out and lastly I have to mention Fuller House it just came out on Netflix like Friday and um I binge watched it in two days and I think that everyone that was a Full House fan did the same it was so much better than I expected I really loved all the references to the original Full House. I love seeing the characters and how they've grown and changed. And um, it's just been, it was really fun. I wish that there was more that I could watch, but definitely enjoyed that this month. So that's it. My son just walked in the door, so there's homework and whatnot to be taken care of. So I gotta go, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this favorites video. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite things from the month of February were because I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe because I'd love to have you back. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.